You mentioned in your bio that you started with the fiddle, violin. I did. Uh, how how did you progress from that to where you are now with the guitar? Uh, well, yeah, when I was a kid, about four years old or so, well, right at four, I think, my dad and my grandpa um, got me into playing the fiddle. And I did that for a long time. I did that uh, till I was about 15 or, or maybe even 17 or so. I was playing in little... Uh, they had these Opry's, and I think that I mentioned this on my bio too, but it was a, the main one I played at was called the Osceola Opry. And every uh, third Saturday or something like that, we would um, have this show, you know, and all these, these older uh, people would come out, you know, and uh, uh, that, you know, I mean, had been living out in the country all their life, you know, and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, they were farmers. My grandpa was a, was a tractor salesman, you know, and so knew all these farmers. And, and that's who we played to, you know, and that was their, their entertainment. So it was like, it was a really big deal back then, you know, even though there was probably 50 or so people that would show up. And um, so anyway, I did that for, you know, till I was 17 or 18. And, and uh, around, I guess, 14 or 15, I started really getting interested in the guitar. And uh, I went through the, I guess, the normal routes that someone might take when they're getting into guitar, you know, I, I, I wanted to be the next, uh, you know, blues guy like a lot of young guys do, you know, I, I was real influenced by, by Stevie Ray Vaughan back then, and, and then later I got into the 60s stuff with Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin and all that, and then uh, I always had a lot of country roots, though, because uh, my dad uh, raised me, you know, with the outlaws, you know, and uh, uh, Willie and uh, Waylon and Johnny Cash and all that kind of stuff. So I had this country infusion too, you know, of course with playing the fiddle. So then it went from all the kind of the rock stuff, the 60s rock stuff, to kind of getting back to the country roots and kind of infusing that. And then uh, got into the old school uh, blues guys like Lightning Hopkins and Fred McDowell and, and uh, Sun House and people like that. So it was kind of a, a, a mixture, I guess, of, of of all of that, you know, of this of this journey to where, where I'm at now, but I got uh, hooked up with, with Ray Wiley Hubbard about that time that all of the, the country and all that was coming back, the blues and the rock was kind of coming all together and, and uh, started writing for myself uh, for the first time, and that, that was actually not that long ago, that was pretty recent, um, maybe four years ago or so, and, and uh, just kind of finally fell into what I felt like was m me, and um, and then and Ray had, it just was really integral in, in, in uh, uh, kind of molding me, you know, to become what I'm doing now, and, and it's the first, uh, whatever you want to call it, genre of music, style of music that, that I don't have to work at, like I don't have to, I don't write a song thinking I want it to sound like Jimmy, I just, Jimi Hendrix, I just write a song and that this is the way it comes out and so it's kind of where I'm at now. So you finally, you found yourself in this particular yes, genre. I did. I, th this is the most uh, uh, natural for me. You know, I, I, I love, you know, playing the style and, and but it's just, it just finally, you know, you, I, I never thought, I wasn't really looking for what feels like me. I was just, you know, kind of stumbling my way through music trying to figure out what to do, but I, I did kind of fall into this style, and it, and it just really, uh, I guess, you know, without trying, it just kind of became me, and so now I look, and, and, and when I write a song, it just, this is the way it comes out, which is, I wasn't really trying to attain that, but I'm glad I did, I guess. Now, I've listened to the lyrics in your song, um, the dove, what makes a crow fly? Oh, yeah, how does a crow fly? How does a crow fly? I'm terrible with memory. Oh, no, um, and I love that, that, I mean, you do, you put your heart right out there in the words. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it really, the, the lyrics speak from your background, your childhood. And right. I can see where you came from. Yeah. So it's, it's really interesting to see that you talk about this journey from that into exploring different things. And now here you are right back where you were from the beginning with your life out there in your lyrics. Right. Yeah, I, I do. I, I it, most of this, the material that I write is, is directly telling some sort of story out of my childhood or out of my past. You know, like the, the, uh, the living this hard was, was when I, uh, 
it was a more recent song that I wrote, but, but probably uh, the, the one that set me more onto this path, I guess. Um, uh, you know, that, that was half of that's just kind of speaking from childhood memories, you know, and things like that. So, yeah, everything is just about, uh, you know, about me uh, somehow, you know, whether it's kind of directly or indirectly. It's about... Uh, good uh, or bad. Yeah, good or bad. It's about my life or, or, or things I've experienced in it.